In this video, I'm going to work out one implicit differentiation problem. All right, it would probably be pretty typically found in a Calc 1 class um, shortly after you have learned implicit differentiation. All right, let's suppose we've got square root of x times y is equal to x squared times y plus 1. All right, I need to implicitly differentiate this. All right, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to rewrite this so that I've got an xy raised to the one-half power. All right, I'm not going to do anything to that right-hand side of the equation. And notice I haven't done any calculus yet right now. I am just manipulating this so it's going to be easier to see how we have to take this uh, derivative. All right, now on this one, I am going to do power raised to a power. I've got little imaginary one exponents right there. All right, I'm going to rewrite this yet again algebraically so that I've got um, an x to the one half and a y to the one half. So x to the one half, y to the one half, and then we've got the x squared y plus one. All right, now I have algebraically manipulated this all that I need to. Now it's going to make the whole the, Im, the implicit differentiation a whole lot easier. Okay, so at this point, I want to take the derivative of both sides. So I'm going to add that ddx notation to the left-hand side, and I'm going to add the ddx notation to the right-hand side. And that's just saying, okay, hey, now I'm ready to start taking the derivative here. All right, on this side, I have product rule right there. On this side right here, I also have product rule with that little plus one there. Okay, so I'm going to start product rule right here. So I'm going to have the first, which is x to the one-half, times the derivative of the second, which will be a one-half y to the negative one-half. And then keep in mind that it's implicit differentiation. And I just did a y, so now I need a y prime. All right, and I might note that um, a lot of professors at this point will do a dy over dx. I just like the prime notation better. All right, so the first times the derivative of the second plus the second y to the one-half times the derivative of the first, which will be a one-half x to the negative one-half. All right, so all of that is taking product rule derivative right there. Okay, now equal sign. Now I'm going to do product rule over here on this side. All right, so the first product rule, x squared times the derivative of the second, which would just be a one y prime. So we'll just write y prime. All right, plus the second, which is a y, times the derivative of the first, which is 2x, and then the derivative of the 1, which is a plus 0. All right, now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple things all together here. I want to keep my um, y prime terms on the left-hand side. If it doesn't have a y prime in it, I want to move it to the right. So I'm going to do that and clean it up all in the same step. All right, so this right here has a y prime in it. This does not. This has a y prime. This does not. Okay, and then the zero is not going to be there. All right, so this term and this term needs to be on the left-hand side of my equal sign. So when I move this over, it'll become a negative, and I'm going to clean it up just a little bit when I do that. Okay, so this term right here, and actually I'll probably go ahead and just factor it out if that's okay. We'll take out the y prime, factoring it out of this term which then will leave me with, let's clean it up here, let's put the one half in the front, make it x to the one half and y to the negative one half, okay? Moving this over, factoring out the y prime, that'll be a minus x squared right there. So, so I mean, I haven't made a mistake, we're pretty good up to that point. Okay, now this term is going to stay on the right-hand side, and I'm just going to rewrite it so that it's a 2xy. All right, this term needs to get moved to the right because I don't need it on the left anymore. I'm trying to solve for that y prime, so when I move it over, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. It'll be a minus, a minus, one-half. All right, and then let's go ahead and go x to the negative one-half, and then y to the one-half. Okay, at this point, then, I can go ahead and solve for that y prime, so divide both sides of the equation by this expression. So I'm going to have y prime is equal to, let's go ahead and write that, so 2xy minus, um, let's um, go ahead and turn this, no let's not, let's just leave it the way it is. I was going to start moving around my exponents, but let's not do that just yet. 1 half um, x to the negative 1 half, y to the one-half all over 
a one half x to the one half y to the negative one half minus the x squared. All right, now let's start manipulating this. Let's move this to the bottom. Let's make this a square root. We'll make this one a square root. We'll move this one to the bottom. So then I'm going to have that first term is going to stay the same, 2xy minus this will be a square root of y over a 2 square root of x because I moved this to the bottom, made a positive, left that on top, just turned them into square roots. All right, yes, I am forcing here now a uh, complex fraction, but that's okay. All right, here we'll do the same thing. This y to the negative 1 half is going to go to the bottom. This square root of y is going to stay in the top. So we'll have square root of y. The 2 is in the bottom and square root of y. And then minus that x squared is not going to do anything. All right, now because we did force this complex fraction, now I've got to get rid of the complex fraction. I'm going to multiply through by the least common denominator. My least common denominator, I'm going to look right here for my least common denominator. I'm going to have a 2 square root of x square root of y as my least common denominator. That's what I need to multiply through by to simplify this. So 2 square root of x square root of y. I'm also going to multiply that times the bottom. 2 square root of x square root of y. Okay, now I think for this one we're going to come up and put our answer up here. Okay, now when I do this I'm going to distribute that to both terms. Alright, so this right here is going to give me a 4 xy square root of x square root of y. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all together. So I'm going to have a 4xy square root of xy. All right, when I multiply here, the 2's are going to cross out. The square root of x's are going to cross out. I'm going to have square root of uh, y times square root of y, which is just going to be a y. So minus a y. All right, distributing here, the 2 and the square root of y's are going to go away. I'm going to just have square root of x times square root of x, which is just going to give me an x. All right, multiplying here, I know I'll have a minus. All right, I'll have the 2. I'll have x squared and then square root of xy. So 2x squared square root of xy. Okay, so as a final answer there. All right, so uh, granted, I did uh, skip a few steps, more steps than I normally do on this. All right, but basically, when you get to this line right here, you've got to put your y square, your y prime terms on your left. If it's not a y prime term, it's going to go to the right. So I try to do that all in one step. And then I get my students to just automatically factor out that y prime out of every term that's on the left. If you needed to redistribute that to check your terms, you could do so. All right, but uh, just one example of implicit differentiation. Um, I chose this problem mainly because my high school students uh, struggle with uh, at least getting it started. Maybe not the implicit differentiation so much. Um, once you get down here and it forms the complex fraction, that again creates a problem. But just knowing how to look at this and change it to exponential form and then intuitively just kind of knowing, oh, hey, I need to do power raised to a power to get it to a form where it's easy to take the product rule there on the differentiation. Um, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.